The person who invented tunnel warfare was truly ingenious. American soldiers, navigating through the tunnels, could be impaled by steel spikes if they were not careful. If they showed their head, they were strangled by the Vietnamese. Sometimes, they encountered cobras, and if they were not attentive, they were bitten to death. Like this unfortunate man, he was drowned here by the Vietnamese. Even when American planes bombed, the Vietnamese could still hide underground. Even throwing grenades into the holes did not help, because the tunnels were curved and the grenades could not reach the target. The Americans also tried using toxic gas, but this was easily neutralized by a water wall or a dam blocking the opening, so the gas could not enter. The Americans tried to find the entrance to the Vietnamese tunnel. They brought two dogs with them, which followed them to the pigsty. The Americans thought that if they held their position, the Vietnamese would come out. They did not realize that the Vietnamese had tunnels everywhere, 200 kilometers long. These tunnels not only led to the bathrooms, they led to the rivers. If the Vietnamese jumped into the water, they could crawl through the tunnels. The craziest tunnels even reached the American headquarters. They slid in the middle of the night. The traps in the Vietnam War were brutal. The American soldiers suffered greatly. The Vietnamese invented the pedal trap, a steel plate in the shape of a shoe specially designed to confront American soldiers. Once an American soldier stepped on it, dozens of bamboo sticks would directly pierce their legs. They suffered terribly. There was also a bamboo trap against which one could not guard. If a soldier walked by and touched the trap, bamboo fell from the sky, falling and impaling the soldier's body. And then there was the bow and arrow trap. If an American soldier touched a bow, a device attached to the bowstring would immediately activate. A bow and arrow soaked in poison were then shot directly at the American soldier. Even more terrifying was the box grenade. Two grenades were placed in an empty box and held together by a thin cord. If an American soldier passed by and touched the cord, the grenades would instantly explode. And finally, there was the snake trap. The Vietnamese would throw snakes into the traps. The unfortunate soldier who fell into them became the viper's prey. The men above were terrified to see